Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Stanislaus. Saint Stanislaus was born near Krakow on the 26th of July 1030. His parents, members of the Polish nobility, were devout Catholics and had their son study for the priesthood. Following their death, Stanislaus distributed his ample inheritance among the poor. Not long after his ordination, he was appointed canon and preacher at the cathedral of Krakow and then vicar general. Humble to the core, he accepted his election as bishop of Krakow in 1072 only upon the express command of Pope Alexander II. An exemplary shepherd, he stood fearlessly for right and justice, never hesitating to denounce vice even in high places. King Boleslaw II of Poland was causing much scandal by the cruel treatment of his subjects and by his unbridled lust. His inability to sway the king from his dissolute life by prayers, tears, and admonitions led Stanislaus to excommunicate him and to suspend all public services in the cathedral. He himself retired to the chapel of St Michael in a suburb of Krakow the king was furious and on the 11th of April 1079 sent some of his knights to kill the holy bishop but when they did not dare to carry out the command he himself burst into the chapel where Stanislaus was celebrating the mass and split his head with his sword as a result pope gregory the 7th laid all poland under an interdict consequently in 1081 boleslas was dethroned and exiled and 2 years later died in hungary as a penitent with the benedictines stanislaus whose body was enshrined in the main altar of the cathedral in krakow in 1089 by his successor bishop lambert the 3 was canonized by pope innocent the 4 in 1253 at assisi the first polish saint ever saint stanislaus is the principal patron of poland